Oh, big dreamers, Katie Ryan's your registered dietitian coming at you live from the Trader Joe's parking lot. I'm super stoked. I'm chefing a retreat tomorrow in Joshua Tree. So the shift retreat, I'll leave the link down below. My friend Brandilyn Thibault and Chris, incredible humans shifting women's perspective to get them to like where they want to be in their lives, breaking down barriers, whether they've experienced eating disorders or trauma or sexual assault. Um, any kind of things that they want to work through maybe even explore entrepreneurial ventures like these retreats are really really powerful so it's um i'm so humbled and honored to get to heal people from the inside out not only with mindset but with food at these retreats and um yeah i gotta go grocery shopping i'm gonna be up late prepping but um today i really wanted to talk about something that's been coming up lately why do we turn to food when we experience heartbreak and um, this is really common. People who go through a divorce or a breakup, they'll turn to food. And to me, it makes perfect sense. And like, I feel like on these videos, I emphasize so much the importance of human connection, the importance of more hugs and really like talking things out with your friends. Um, there's nothing like the drug of being excited about somebody or, or being excited with somebody that I, I say that it's like a drug because it really does release these feel-good neurotransmitters and these feel-good hormones that um, and we relate these and we can like try and mask or numb the um, the empty space that's created when a um, a lover is out of the picture when a significant other or someone we're excited about is all of a sudden out of the picture there's this space where we're all of a sudden overworked and under snuggled and all we want is some ice cream <laughs> and that's because we just wanted to have these feel-good neurotransmitters and not to mention like as we were babies the f like the way people share love is through food and we feel we feel like we're comforted, we feel like we're taken care of, and we feel like um, food does have such powerful ties with um, a nurturing um, aspect. And I invite you to do an exercise of write down three things that are taking up your mind space, that are draining your energy and three things that are taking up your mind space that are providing you with positive energy. And um, this exercise for me, it helps for me to step back and say like, okay, like, are you thinking about this guy? Like, are you thinking about like, what is going on that's draining your energy, that's taking up too much mind space? And um, just putting that out on paper can help you see like what's going on in your head and see like, just to rationalize a little bit better so that you aren't turning to food and you can say like okay like let me see how I can handle this in other ways or like let's get productive doing something else that brings more energy into my life and you can start focusing on things that are brought are bringing more positive energy into your life um, another thing that I recommend with this is to like really really like notice that we are trying to fill a void with food and that that doesn't work okay just like noticing and like honestly happiness is a lot of the time happiness is a choice like what makes you happy and some people will say going to the beach some people will say doing yoga but you can be doing yoga and you can be at the beach and be very very sad and um, sometimes for no reason at all, all I wanna do is be sad and eat pizza because like, honestly, like we need to process these breakups. We wanna, pro we, ha we need to process these heartbreaks and like allowing ourselves to be sad is so beautiful. It's okay. It's okay to be sad and overeat sometimes, okay? Like that's okay. But over time, if this goes on for, you know, over like, I don't know, a couple of days if you're feeling like sick, if you're significantly gaining weight um, after these experiences, like really, really take a step back and find more positive ways to cope, like different ty types of coping mechanisms. 
And this could be like, honestly, like talking to somebody, talking to a counselor, like don't be afraid to ask for help because these are really heavy um, situations. Talk to a friend, give yourself a hug and like do some stretching, go get a massage. Like really like this is the time for us. Like, yes, like I've dealt with heartbreak recently too. Like this is, this is the time for us to really, really focus on nurturing ourselves and eating really, really healthily and doing whatever we can to feel super vibrant and super alive and super amazing. You know what I mean? Like this is the time to become the best version of ourselves and to tap into who we really are and to tap into what we're passionate about and what brings us energy and what gets us excited, okay? So like really like start painting again, start doing photography again, like start practicing that instrument, like try something new, like go to a ballroom dancing class, like this is the time. And um, you know, no more feeling sorry for ourselves, no more feeling like we're victims, like let's take responsibility for how we feel. Let's take responsibility for our lives, let's take responsibility for our weight, for what we're putting in our mouths, because they, it is a choice. I mean, we can make excuses, we can say, oh, this breakup, oh, this, it's raining, oh, whatever. No. Let's take some responsibility, let's take the control back. And, um, wow, should have gotten that lighting a while ago. <sighs> let's take a deep breath, take back the control. Yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> let's, um... Yeah, this, everything's going to be amazing and uh, go become the absolute most amazing version of yourself. You're going to feel really, really good and you're going to be like, sorry, not sorry. You wish you had all this, <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope this video helped. I don't know. I'm honestly super exhausted and like I'm about to be up really, really late prepping for this thing. Um, just know that you're not alone and it's totally normal to like use food as a coping mechanism in general and like really at this time please try to avoid very stimulating foods because it's just going to make you cause it's just going to cause you to overeat and get you addicted on food and like release good feeling hormones that um in a not healthy way you know what I mean okay and it is possible too to like binge on really healthy food too to cope and like overstuff yourself and numb yourself. <sighs> so take a deep breath, go for a walk, get out in nature, like really, really nourish yourself right now in other ways besides food. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Take a bubble bath, drink some reishi tea, and um, hit me up, all right? At vitamin.katie on Instagram. I hope this video helped you. Sending so much love. I hope you can love yourself from within and know that you are so worth it and so amazing and so deserve everybody's time and energy and you so deserve to have conversations with people and you so deserve to set boundaries for yourself with people who are draining your energy and um, don't let anybody tell you it's not okay to be unapologetically yourself, okay? Like, I'm gonna stand through that. I'm gonna take my own advice. Yes, let's do this. I love you. Good night. Bye. <laughs>